All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update for you today. And I will have my full spoiler Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny review out later today. So look for that. But I wanted to get this DC video out here first. I've had a lot of people message me and send me emails about this whole Reeves universe rumor going around that was started by Grace Randolph. And I'm going to tell you whether it's a rumor or not. Uh, I can actually definitively, definitively lay out the facts on this based on things that have happened in the past. And I'm going to talk about those things. But first, let's take a look at a few photos. Now, this is something that came across my plate that is very, very interesting. It says President's, President George Wada and Wit Studio plan on creating the DCAU, DC Anime Universe, if the Suicide Squad, I don't know how you say that name, a Sakai is a success. So there is uh, a DC animated feature coming out. Uh, and if it goes well, they're thinking about building a whole universe around that. That would be interesting. The more DC content we get, I say the better, as long as it's not connected to the DCU. Uh, I personally want nothing to do with the DCU, uh, but everything else I'm all game for. So let's take a look at some other photos here. Now, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it says, James Gunn confuses fans with his latest comment. Blue Beetle is first DCU character, but not first DCU film. What kind of nonsense is this? This, I could tell you what this is. They're afraid that this is going to be a flop like the other movies, and he's saying that no matter what happens with this film, we're going to keep Blue Beetle as a character, even if the film does horrible you know, does horribly bad at the box office. And this is just him towing the line, playing both sides of the fence here, so that he can't lose with no matter what happens. And I'm sorry, <laughs> Warner Brothers Discovery is already lost. You guys have seen my last two videos. There is nothing positive coming out of the DC studios. And it's only going to continue to get worse. And I, it still confuses me as to why anybody is investing money in this company. But let's take a look at what we have next. Now, somebody says Zack Snyder wants to work with his former Justice League cast for future Netflix projects. Restore the Snyderverse, sell Snyderverse to Netflix. From It's That Movie News. So it says next, Zack Snyder does want to work with Justice League cast for Netflix project. That's Pretty much a given, guys. Uh, Zack Snyder at the SnyderCon said that if he is given the opportunity, he will finish the story. This does add fuel to the fire. Now, I have not been able to find this quote by him himself, but you know that this whole entire movement to sell the Snyderverse to Netflix and restore the Snyderverse, and I, I use DCEU as the proper term, is in full swing and is going to continue until we get the completion of the story. You're never going to appease the fan base until we get the conclusion of the story that was already started. And this comes from Snyder Queen. If Snyderverse ends up being sold to Netflix, it will be thanks to Snyder's incredible community that fights for Restore the Snyderverse every day. When we started this, they mocked us and laughed. Now more and more are realizing the possibility. So it says down here that the campaign for the Snyderverse on Netflix continues to gain momentum as negotiations for a licensing deal between Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers Discovery and Netflix are reportedly underway. This initiative, driven by passionate DC fans, aims to lease the DC intellectual property to a third party, allowing director Zack Snyder to complete his vision for the Justice League saga under the DC Elseworlds label. Although James Gunn and Peter Safran are set to reboot the franchise, the Snyderverse supports the Snyderverse supporters believe that leasing the DC rights is the only viable, and it goes on. This is an article. It is really the only viable solution to this. And honestly, this is the only way they're going to appease fans. Nobody's going to buy into the new DCU except for a few small group of people who are just obsessed with James Gunn and think he can do no wrong. Uh, there are going to be people who are going to be this way until we get to see the completion of the story. It's just the way it's going to be. And we will never stop talking about this until we get the completion of the story. 
So if anybody is not happy with that, you are free to move on and go to other other, you know, YouTube channels where they are just totally anti anti DCEU. I am not. I am firmly in this camp. I love DC and I have seen Warner Brothers just never, you know, follow through with projects for too many decades. This is a story that deserves to be finished. So let's talk about this whole thing that blew up all over the internet over the last couple of days because Grace Randolph said that plan B at Warner Brothers Discovery was to invest in the Reeves Batverse. Guys, that was already happening. (laughs) Grace Randolph is not coming out with any breaking news. People who are talking about this don't either were never paying attention to begin with or don't know what was happening behind the scenes. I live this DC stuff in day in and day out, okay? It was already announced a long time ago after they made a profit off of the Batman, which made about $700 million, and it made it because the budget was so low. I have never seen a company advertise a movie like they did the Batman. I really wish Warner Brothers Discovery would stand behind their other properties they, like they did with the Batman. Even The Flash didn't have as much advertising, as much promotion as the Batman did. If they stood by their movies that way, I think they would have greater success, but they just don't. They tend to bury their stuff. And I will tell you, the studio is completely moving away. They don't have any desire to do anything with the Snyderverse or the DCEU. They are trying to run away with it, run away from it as fast as they can and just go in a completely different direction. So I don't think our chances are very good of ever seeing the end of Snyder's vision, but I will never fight, stop fighting for it. And a lot of people, other people won't either. And so you're going to have to get used to it. Now, with this whole Batverse thing, this was already planned to begin with. Back when the Batman became successful, they instantly announced that they were going to do a Penguin show, which is already probably finished production at this stage. It's going to air sometime next year. And I don't know why they're taking so long to finish it and, and get the product to us. They're already working on the Batman 2, and there was going to be a, a GCPD TV show as well, which was originally going to be a, a uh, Arkham show. And I can't remember if it's going to be an Arkham show now or a GCPD. I think it was originally going to be GCPD, and now it's going to be an Arkham show. And so they have already, they had already mapped out to stretch out the Reeves-verse on its own, separate from the DCEU or the DCU. Okay, it was already happening. Nobody broke this news. This was already announced by the studio a long time ago, and they were going to continue to flesh it out. So it's not breaking news. Do I think this is plan B? No, I don't, because it was already planned to begin with. Uh, this is this. They were always going to run with this as far as they could and do as much with it as they could because of the success of the film. But that means they're going to have to keep their budgets low. And I'm one of those people that did not love the Batman. I am a massive Batman fan, and I think it is an extremely flawed movie. But I still enjoy it, and I am eager to see more projects from that universe. But what kills me is everyone says Snyder stuff was too dark. Oh, it was too dark. Did anybody see the Batman? Everybody was talking about that. That was a dark, serious movie. To the point of almost being boring, as a matter of fact. It wasn't all that interesting. There wasn't a whole lot of action in the film, and even Batman didn't have a whole lot to do in the film other than walk very slowly from scene to scene and talk very slowly. So like I said, he's a flawed character in that movie. There needs to be more growth for him in future projects, otherwise it's not going to work. I am eager to see Colin Farrell back as the Penguin in the Penguin Show. That's the first thing we're going to get before we get the Batman sequel or... The Arkham show, I believe, is what it's going to be. So there's a lot of content coming up that I will be covering. Uh, If you are not subscribed to my channel, you are going to miss something at some point. So you want to subscribe, like the videos too. If you have a chance to watch them and you enjoy the content, it is very important. It is very important to like the videos because the more likes the videos get, the, the, the further these videos are going to be pushed out to YouTube, which does support my channel. And if you want me to create more content, that support is greatly appreciated. I had a record month last month, and those numbers are continuing, and I do appreciate all the support. I am here for the long term, 
and I appreciate everything you guys do for me. I appreciate the views, the likes, the shares, the, the comments, all of it. I really do appreciate it. We will see you on the next video.